So welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. Mark, what do we got this week? Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to create test fixtures using the fewest keystrokes possible. Excellent. So um, we've got some test fixture here already in this file. I'm going to add a new test fixture and a new set of tests in there um, based on this class right over here. We're going to create tests for this class called cell position. The cell position is a simple struct. It has two properties, column and row. And it has some, uh, some, some methods inside, including operator overloads, to be able to tell if something is less than or greater than, uh, whether it's equals to that sort of thing. So we're going to uh, uh, we'll create some tests over here. And, the, and I said we could do it in the fewest keystrokes possible. How okay. does two keystrokes sound to you, Rory? That sounds pretty minimal, Mark. And especially if those, if those two keystrokes were... At least one of them was an easy key to hit, like the tab key or the space bar. Sure, nice right? big buttons, easy to hit. Right. So to memorize this, so we're, there's a little bit of a burden on memory here. If you want to create a test fixture, you have to remember the letter T. Okay? So so the burden is <laughs> T for test fixture. But I, once, I think we can handle that. But if you can pick that burden up and run with that and say, hey, yeah. T is text, test fixture, uh, you just hit the letter T, follow it with that space bar or the tab key, whatever you use to expand templates in Code Rush, and it'll build a test fixture for you. It looks Fantastic. like that. Fantastic. And now we'll call it, give it a name. I'm just going to uh, uh, use call the cell pause tests like that. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter, and now it takes me to my first test that it's built for me as well. I'm going to make, make this a test about uh, equality to test uh, whether two cells are the same. Are equal to each other. Cell positions are the same. So I'm going to create a new cell position here, and we'll say two comma three as its column and row, and uh, we'll uh, declare that as a local variable. Call it CP1, um, and I'll use duplicate line to come down here and give me a CP2 very quickly, and uh, we'll give it the same coordinates. All right. Okay. And then we want to assert true, and we'll come in and say uh, CP1 equals CP2. Like that. Fair enough. And that's our simple test. We can come in here. We can click on this and say run the test. See, see the build that. going on, yeah. You can see down there. And there we can see and it's the, passed. the test has passed. We can uh, Now we want to create a new test. Just hit the letter T. So again, that burden is has really hasn't changed. You can use the letter T to create test fixtures, test classes, and you can use it to create test methods. I should also point out that I'm using n unit now, but these templates, uh, they're the same regardless of the test framework you're using. So if I'm using X unit or MB unit, something like that, the yep. code rush will know to make slightly different syntax that suits those frameworks? Exactly. So the, keys that you're press, so the keys you're seeing me press will work in those other frameworks if you're using another framework. So I'll okay. just hit the letter T, space bar again, and now code rush is smart, intelligently sees that you're inside of a test class, so it says, well, let's make give you a test method instead of a test class. And now we'll call this the uh, inequality test, like that. And I'm just going to drop a marker here. I'm going to come up here, grab these, come back down and paste these. And we're going to just change things up again a bit. And we're going to go like that. So I've now got two different positions here. And we'll come in here, we'll run this test. And we're expecting this to pass as well. All right, so that passes too. Um, and we can continue on in this fashion. Just hit the letter T again. Uh, maybe we'll do a uh, greater than test like this. And uh, I'll just paste what's on the clipboard again. And we'll say that this is going to be at, at uh, CP2 is going to be at column 3. And we're expecting CP1, uh, we're expecting CP2 to actually be greater than CP1. So we'll write that. Like okay. That. So that test is greater than, and we can run that and see if I've, uh, if I'm, if the code is working as I'm expecting it to work. And so there's a greater. And than there test. you go. Excellent. So that's it, Roy. It's pretty simple. So go ahead. I'm we've, sorry. We've had a pretty good run through there. So we we basically learned one, maybe two templates that are going to help us out in a myriad of different ways. Uh, basically, it's just T followed by spacebar, uh, which if we're outside of the class, outside of a test fixture already, is going to create that test fixture for us. And since an empty test fixture is not of much use, it's going to create that first test for us as well. Right. It gives us the opportunity to name both the fixture 
and the test itself, and then deposits us in the best singular location for the continued work, i.e. the creation of the test meet, the, the content, so to speak. So we'll be in there straight away. Next up, you arrange, the, in this case, the cell positions that you're looking to use as part of the test, and you use the AT, followed by, again, the space or the tab, depending on configuration, to expand the is true template, the assert is true. That's you pass right. it any expression that you're looking to test the validity of on the presumption that it is true, and the test is now effectively testing the validity of that fact for you. Yes. And all of this with literally just two templates. You've got the syntax of the test framework that you're using, in this case, N unit, but equally, if we had been using MB unit or X unit, we'd have got different syntax, we'd have got that in place, we wouldn't need to know it, we wouldn't need to use any um, curly braces or, or anything like that because they're put in place for us, no shifted keys particularly, so all easy keys to hit and very quickly you've knocked up what four different tests there um, to test some facts about your, your class to make sure it's working the way you want and all the time you've more or less just been considering the code that you want to operate the, the test itself, not the ceremony around it, because Code Rush has taken care of that for you. Yes, exactly. Great stuff. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.